Hello, this video will be on finding the North Star. I've been getting that question a lot lately. So uh, what you want to do first is find the Big Dipper. It's over here. You can see the handle right there. So you want to find the two stars that are on the opposite side of the Big Dipper from the handle, the farthest from the handle. So it's these two here. So you want to take the star that's at the bottom of the bowl, line it up with the star at the top of the bowl and then just draw an imaginary line and continue that line out till you find the next bright star and there it is the North Star Polaris so Polaris then is the brightest star in the Little Dipper and uh, the rest of the stars in the Little Dipper are pretty hard to see uh, Polaris itself is not a very bright star uh, it's a magnitude 2.0 uh, the brightest stars, the, the lower the number, the brighter it is. So a 1.0 would be, would be much brighter than a 2.0. And then the other stars uh, in the Little Dipper, that one is 4.3. That's kind of hard to see. This one's 4.2, 4.3, oh, that's even harder to see. 2.0, and 5.0. 3.0. So the North Star is the brightest star in the Little Dipper, so it would be kind of hard to find the Little Dipper uh, unless you already knew where the North Star was. So the stars in the Big Dipper are much brighter 2 2.0, 2.3, 2.4, 3.3, 1.8, 1.9. 2.2. So all of those stars are just about the same brightness as the North Star, but much brighter than the other stars in the Little Dipper. So once you draw that imaginary line, it should look something like this. So there's the handle of the Big Dipper. Here's the bowl, the two stars at the end of the bowl away from the handle. Draw your imaginary line, continue it down, and there's the North Star which then tells you your latitude. Here's the horizon down here. And from the horizon up to the North Star, uh, this is from the view from St. Louis, Missouri. And so this is 38 degrees, 45 minutes above the horizon, and thus the latitude of St. Louis. If I were to do it for, for me here in Hawaii, uh, we're at not time wrong one location location Honolulu Hawaii you can see here that the North Star is much lower to the horizon only 21 degrees 32 minutes and so our latitude here in Hawaii is 21 degrees. So the North Star is pretty low. Uh, actually, the view from, uh, from the Waikiki, Honolulu area puts it just barely above the mountains, which is then usually shrouded in clouds. And being that low to the horizon, uh, it's not a very bright star, so it's kind of hard for us to see here. And then um, as the stars go around, you can see the Big Dipper going over the North Star there. And the Big Dipper will actually dip below the horizon. So here's the horizon, and there's the Big Dipper going below the horizon, and the mountains are about here. So uh, there are times when you cannot use the Big Dipper to find the North Star. And so what I do is I use Cassiopeia over here. Looks like a W or an M. Uh, usually a W. But anyway, I use these stars here, and then they don't really point to the North Star, but if you take the the middle of the W, the way that it points, it points kind of in the general area. Um, not really. It kind of goes this way, but I, I know that if I find that and I move kind of this way and find the, the brightest star in that area, there it is, Polaris, the North Star. So it will stay stationary pretty much. As the other stars go around, there goes the Big Dipper over the top. Here comes Cassiopeia over the top. So you can see that makes a good reference point for finding north. 
all of the other bright stars, you know, a lot of people think that the North Star is the brightest star in the sky. Actually, uh, the, the brightest stars in the sky rise in the uh, east, go across the southern sky, and uh, set in the west. So if you were to, uh, to be following any one of those stars, uh, you would be going every direction but north and actually be going in a circle as it rises in the east, goes across the south, sets in the west, comes back up again in the east. You know, so you wouldn't be getting very far. Yeah, there are um, a lot of stars that are much brighter than the North Star. The North Star is actually the 48th brightest star, not counting the five visible planets, which can actually get even brighter than the brightest stars. Um, so you've got 47 other stars plus five planets, uh, so there's a lot of things in the sky that are much brighter than the North Star, so uh, that's that's one myth that I wish would go away. The North Star is not the brightest star in the sky by far. 47 other stars and five planets that are even brighter than the North Star. So there you go. How to find the North Star? Very important.